Koi Tower. For some really cool views on San Francisco. Now you might think that this is steep, which it actually is, but watch this. Now if you wonder where all the people are looking at, it's actually the world famous Lombard Street. A very steep hill with a road down. It looks like a roller coaster, really awesome to drive. And a lot of selfie sticks. <laughs> the most awesome restroom key ever. Now if the toilet doesn't flush, no, no, don't even go there. Okay guys, when you're in San Francisco, make sure you go to Haight and Hesbury. Now we're very close to that. This is a place called The Mission. And this is really awesome for some vintage stores and some really great street photography. So we're going to enjoy this. And again, this is The Mission in San Francisco. Really, really cool place. Very alternative. Final books, whatever you want, it's here. Now, if you watch the series Oddities, you probably know this store. Now if you like gravity, this is the place to be. Well, probably there are better places, but I still absolutely love this. Really nice. And this is also under the Mission District, all the way at the end of the street. Just a shame it's closed. But we can shoot through to make some images. Okay, and now shopping for some really cool HDR Ultra HD Blu-rays at Yep, Best Buys. We love those. Okay, now this is the kind of HDR that is not highly destructive retouching, but awesomely cool for our home theater. So let's see which movie we're gonna pick up. Okay, so we're back in the hotel and we actually tried this morning to go to Chinatown but we couldn't find any parking so we're gonna try that one again tomorrow because Chinatown without any doubt is an amazing place to photograph and the same for the mission of course and you saw us going there. Now, at one point you saw me going into the Best Buy to get an HDR Blu-ray but we ended up with something completely different. Now the case of my iPhone is showing some wear and tear because I use it a lot of course. And we found an amazing case. And now probably you already know this case, but I didn't. And it's actually an Otter case and I'm gonna show you it now. And you know that when you get a new iPhone you need a new case? Well with this case you don't. Well of course you need a new case. But what you can do is you can remove this little clip here. And what you can do is, for example, use a battery pack, which you can click in, or a card reader, or something to store your credit cards on. And you even can use, on the top, you can use different lenses for your iPhone photography. Which I don't, but it's very interesting. The only thing that worries me is if I will lose this little part. But there will be... Well, we'll see in the future. So when you buy a new iPhone, the only thing you actually do is you replace the case itself. And you can still keep using your accessories, which is awesome. Okay, so the case is around 37, so let's say 40 bucks. And this is around 44, so 45 bucks. So the only thing you now need to replace if you get a new iPhone is actually this part. And the batteries and all the other accessories you can still use. Now if you compare it to a Mofi case, which is actually about 100 bucks. So this is actually a pretty cool and pretty... Well, cheap solution. And hey, we're Dutch. If it's cheap, it's great. So, and this is actually the power pack, by the way. And the box is from Otterbox. So that's a good brand. So, really looking forward to testing this in the field. And tomorrow, there will be a new behind the closed doors. Because for today, we're tired and we're going to go to sleep. Bye, guys. See you tomorrow.